Okay, after quite a lot of um, fiddling around, should I say, I've actually managed to do a kaleidoscope in GeoGebra. So I want to show you now that I've done it and fiddled a, a little bit of a shortcut, I hope, but I'm still experimenting. So I'm going to go new file and it'll be blank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the ellipse for, for some of my motion. So I'm going to pop an ellipse here. Then I'm going to use this uh, rigid polygon tool and one, two, three, so it's just sort of like a bit of a piece of glass if you like, I'm going to use that. Okay, I'm going to right click, object properties, I'm going to make that a nice colour and thickness and filling and it can be hatch, it's fine. And if I go here, animation, that is now a moving piece. So although I can't, I could move that on an ellipse, which I fiddled with, it's actually easier to do it like this. Now here I'm going to grab a circle with a center and radius. That way if I go here, I can enter my radius. And here we go. Now this one, I'm actually going to have really thick and I'll have that kind of a thing and I might decide the colour is blue and I might not put a filling in right? now that one I can animate so I actually might with this point nah, I don't want to have points that I want to be showing because it just is going to make it harder so I'm just going to animate that so now I've got two bits of my kaleidoscope um, I'm going to have a rigid polygon of just a triangle, bear with me, and then I'm going to have a regular polygon, but I'm going to use these two, and then I could have five vertices so that I have got a pentagon, but I can then right click and animate that, so you know that looks quite interesting. Just pause for a minute and object properties I think green would be good and thick and a little bit of a filling and then this one um, I can have color of purple and line thickness and could do solid something like that okay so now I've got three if I push play I've got three three bits. Um, red, blue, I might need yellow of something, so do we want another thing moving? Yep, we'll have another ellipse uh, going through that way perhaps, and on this ellipse, um, what I could do just for interest sake is pop a point on it, and then I'm going to get a vector between this point and that point. And then here I'm going to translate this object by that vector. And then right click object properties and I'm going to have yellow and let's have a look. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so now when I push play, what have I got? Uh, I need to right click there and animate that point. So that one's moving around. So that's going to be my basic thing. Now before I do anything else, I need to clean this all up. So I want to be able to stop it and start it here. So that's all cool. So what I'm going to do is go right click, object properties, and then here, I'm going to go point, that highlights them all, and I'm not going to show the points. Okay, much cleaner. And then ellipse, okay, highlights them all, I'm not going to show them. And then that jolly vector, I don't want to show it. So now, nice, very nice. Okay, but I need a mirror. Oh, I could just rotate. How about that? How about if I pop 
copper point here. I'm just going to use that point. And I'm going to grab all of that. And I'm going to rotate around there. And I could do my 180 or 90. Yeah, 90 is OK. And then I can rotate the whole thing. But in actual fact, I think for reflection first. So I'm going to go Control Z to undo, and I'm actually am going to do a line. So there's my line. That's going to be my mirror line. So I'm going to go Edit, Select All, and here I'm going to go Reflect, Reflect on the line. Okay. And then I'm going to go edit, select all, and I'm going to rotate the whole thing around that point, and I'm going to go 180, okay, and then I'm going to go edit, Select all, and I'm going to rotate there, around there, and this time, uh, 180? No, I want to go 90. Okay. Now, edit, select all. Rotate object around point by angle. Click on my point, 90. Okay, that's worked. Now I could go edit, select all, and rotate. Object around point by angle. Select that middle one. Doesn't seem to be wanting to do it. Oh, it did. And I'm going to go 45. I'm just a bit impatient. I think I lost it. So I'm going to do it again. Edit. Select all. Here. Rotate around point by angle. And I'm going to click on that point. I'm going to wait for it to think. Probably got a lot to think about. Maybe it can't. I'm left clicking. Okay, 45. Okay, can it do it? Oh, I know. It's because um, I should have done half of 45, shouldn't I? No? Don't know. Anyhow, you can see the image that I've got is not without issues because that stuff that I hid is now, unfortunately, um, visible. So, I can't really do too much with it. Oh, there, that's nice. That's better. Just moved it on a bit. Kind of cool, isn't it? Okay. So there's a little bit of experimenting there. I wonder if I can pick up the whole thing and move it across. Apparently not. No. Okay, so we'll leave it like that. Now, I wonder... Yeah, some of them you can't move and some of them you can. I'm going to right-click Object Properties and go back to my points. Select all my points and I don't want to show them. I'm going to go back to the, the ellipse and click show and then hide. So that's all gone away. Uh, those lines we don't want. Okay, and those vectors that have come back to haunt me. I don't actually want. Now what have I got? Okay, so you imagine you get better at this, yeah? Um, and I would have liked the whole thing to be rotated by 45, but I think I killed the processor or something. You get the general idea. Uh, it is possible.